Rebecca Raposo. I'm Brazilian. I live in Sao Paulo. Um, I have worked for the past, well, I've worked 30 years in the civil sector, but for the past eight especially, with leaders and their organizations. Um, I have just closed this NGO. It was an NGO format, and I go on with this kind of work, but now just as a consultant. Uh, it turned out to be an easier way to do this. Mm. It took me a while to understand that, but I did. So I follow this, and um, I am very content with that at the time, because I think this is a better way to carry out what I think really needs to be done. I have found throughout these last eight years that presence is a key thing. Uh, if, as a facilitator, you can be totally present, you can bring in people that have certain difficulties in being present. But if you are present, you it helps bring people in. Um, truthful. If you are truthful, you are legitimate in that place, so you can convene better. And people that have a difficult and either trusting or believing in the process that you're proposing, because it's a little bit out of the box, mm -hmm. they will come if they trust you, if they feel legitimacy in that place, if you have traveled the road you're proposing, right? And you have to be patient. You have to give yourself time and give people time believe and trust that they are able to change. Trust them, but it takes time. So, be patient and wait. It's an exercise. <laughs> if they really want this role, if they really want it, because there's a certain glamour around leadership and uh, it's not always an easy place and it's frequently a very lonely place but a very rewarding place as well so you really want it? okay so first knowing that if they really want this place um, second knowing that it is lonely at times very lonely at times. There are ways of, of sharing, co-creating, peer networks. There are a lot of ways of not being lonely, but there are moments when, yes, you will be fairly lonely. So I think they need to know that. And most of all, and I think that's the hardest to embody, but once you do it, it's wonderful, but it, at least in my experience, it has been a challenge which is looking out systemically, holistically, seeing the interdependence and in all its very levels and dimensions, because that's sustainable. And that's not easy, because we haven't been trained that. Our training is bipartisan, bipolar, divided, and this is round, this is not a square. So, until we see that. Once we do it, okay, but it's breaking that paradigm is, is the great challenge in my understanding.